Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on our favorite YouTube channel, our favorite little star YouTube channel. So today in this video, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to run a performance test of Postman collections through Azure Release Pipeline. And this was uh, this was a question that's been asked by uh, one of our subscriber uh, and like two people. Yeah, so one of our subscribers asked and there is another person who wanted uh, the video so she also mentioned that she does want that video so yeah thanks again for asking this question and uh, yeah I, I really appreciate your effort for watching this video completely and then asking this question where you want me to create a video on how to run a performance test of postman collection through azure release pipeline so thank you so much and yeah in this video we're going to see that and before we move to this video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, you will get more interesting video like this if you have any questions also please do ask that in the comment section and yeah uh, going forward uh, there are like a lot of training plans coming on so if you want to understand more you can reach out to my whatsapp channel and please don't forget to join my channel and that will help me to create more quality content like this so yeah with no further delay let's go to the video and uh, let me in fact i will uh note down the steps like what else do we need and how to do this so uh the first step is so the first step is uh, you need to have postman set up in your mission and then you need to create your postman scripts so you have to have your postman script so i did have postman set up in my mission so this is part this part is done the first step is done and then let me just maximize this for you to see so the power postman scripts yes i am done i have completed that so i let me open my postman and here you can see i have got two requests under my collection under my workspace collection which is one of the get request and one post request and in fact this is one of the video that i have created a lot a uh, few months back if you want to understand how does uh, the get and post works so please do watch this video and here i'm sending a get request and i'm sending a post request and in fact if you have not watched my video on how to convert the postman to load runner please do watch that video as well that will be very helpful and in fact i have even got a yeah i remember i have even got a comment that one of the uh, there's one comment that telling that um, he has uh, completed the conversion in just less than a minute and in fact I would like to thank you for trying this yeah here yeah it has come helpful that it, I, he has completed the conversion in just one minute so like this yeah a lot of other videos are there uh, so please do watch the uh, video if you have any questions please do come and search you can get that and join my whatsapp channel i can i think uh, there are like a lot of more than 300 people where there are 400 people i believe by today but that to help you and yep so coming back to this part so postman scripts that's done so coming to the third part so let me just show this to you so yeah i have my postman script ready and then now let me open my devops my azure devops so you need to have azure devops account yep, this is done and the next part is we have to create a create a new project in azure devops so that's what i'm going to do now let me go back to my azure devops home page let me create a new project and that's going to be Postman easy DevOps integration. So the so here we are going to run Postman script using Azure DevOps, right? And then I'm going to uh, have the visibility as private, and then I'm going to create this project. So that's the first step, and that is also done, right? So now let's move on to the next step. So now I have my Postman Azure DevOps integration project ready and going to the repos. I need to, okay, let me let me initialize the project. Okay, let me even add that as well. So initialize, initialize the, get, uh, the Azure DevOps repository and that's what we did, I did now. So now the next step is we have to export the collections, the Postman collections postman collection to json so that only then you can import that file to your azure devops repository or your github devops repository and then you can run this test in fact for now i will show you how to do that using azure devops repository and in the next video i'll show you how to do that using github repository okay and initializing the azure devops repository is done so the next step uh 
go to postman and export the postman collection to json so i'm going to postman click on the three dots next to the collection of the workspace and i'm going to export this project so i'm choosing uh, the collection v2.1 and clicking on export and this will show me a collection a folder where i can uh, export the file so let me uh, give it as demo save and then the file is saved now so this step is also done right and then the seventh step so in the seventh step what i'm going to do is i'm going to import the import the json to azure DevOps because that's where you're going to refer your test right so i'm in my azure DevOps, uh, devops sorry and then i'm going to uh, upload the file clicking on browse so in fact if you have a clone uh, version of your repository you can even do that as well but for now i'm going to just choose the demo collection and i'm clicking on commit so now the file is in my main branch so the next part so this is done so the step seven is done and then the eighth step so the eighth step what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the pipeline and then to the releases so under the releases i'm going to create a new pipeline so in azure devops i have to create a release pipeline right so let's see how to do that so now i'm in my uh, release pipeline so i'm going to click empty job and then save this and when it's come to adding an artifact i'm going to choose azure repos um, azure uh, repository and i'm going to choose the project which is postman azure DevOps integration and the source is again the same postman azure DevOps integration the default branch is going to be main the default version is latest from the default branch and nothing else so i just create i'm adding the artifact right so yeah this is done and then i'm adding the artifact and that's also done right and let me even add this step as well so where we have to do so most of this will be into the azure DevOps. so in azure DevOps, i have to add the artifact so that's done and now let's go to the main part which is adding the stages so in the stages this is very important so please do watch this part very uh without any distraction and if you could not do it please do come from the first and then you can uh, try it again and it'll work, work work out for you so starting from the step one so i have my agent job and that's hosted on windows 2019 and i'm not going to make any changes here it's just going to be the artifact download it's the same thing whatever we have uh, set it up as, it, uh, as the artifact and then now i'm going to add the plus symbol and the first step of it is npm so npm custom I'm going to add this so this will install and publish the npm packages or i can even use this to run the npm command so i'm choosing this part here and then under the command i'm going to choose custom because i have to write a custom command for doing this under the command and argument i'm going to try install new man minus g so this will install the new man which is basically the npm for me and nothing else so no custom registries are changed no changes in the control options nothing is going to change the output variables and then the second part so what i'm going to do add next so let me add this part here add npm custom to install new man yes this is done and now the next step where you're going to install the new man html report so let me again do the same thing So I'm going to add another npm. Yep, I'm adding it. So this will do install minus g new man minus reporter minus html extra. Right. So this is what I did. I'm going to install this part here. So let me uh, add it here. So it is. install new man html report right so adding install new man html report so this is done and uh, like i told you there are no other changes so that's done now and then let me add the third part so this is the most important one and that is new man 
the CLI companion for Postman. So this is the one which actually will run our test, right? So the version can be four, fourth version, and then the display name is Newman Postman. And I'm going to run the file, so I'm going to choose the file as my collection source type. And let's choose the file, and this is my file which I want to test. And then the content can be same, collections JSON. And then under the environment resource type, I'm going to choose none. So this will uh, make the environment source type as none and the number of iterations is one. In case if I want to increase it, I can do the changes. And yeah, let, let's, in our upcoming videos, we'll try all the different permutations and combinations here. And uh, then, yeah. So in the reporters part, I'll have to make few changes uh, to get our report, like whatever we tested it. So it will be CLI, HTML, HTML extra. I just select everything so that I don't miss any part of it. And uh, then, yeah, I'm going to enable extra HTML extra console. I mean, enable extra HTML extra console logs. And then, uh, yep, there are no other options which I'm going to add for this. Yep, I'm just leaving it as it is. So adding new man, postman. Let me add that in the sheet for me. Add new man. Postman, and the name of it is this one. It's Newman, the CLI companion, and that's done, right? Moving on to the 13th step. So here, we are going to add the published test results. Let me add it here. Publish test results. Let me add it here, and in this, I'm going to export the test results. I mean, I'm going to publish my test results. So I'm going to choose the J unit as my uh, test result format, and then I'm going to use Newman as my test results file location. And the search folder is going to be the same one which I have now. And test run title, I can even use it as like Postman test results or I can do it like postman performance test results or even if you want to uh, use it for a functional testing yeah I can very well use it and advanced there is nothing okay in advanced I'm going to yeah upload test results files in the build platform the platform for which the test is going to run so this will be in the build part and then the control options um, yeah, only when all the results have succeeded. Output variables, yes. So I have done. I'm done with the publishing test results, which you see now. So publish test results part is done, and then the next part, which is upload Postman HTML report. That's the last part. Upload Postman HTML report. So let me add it here. And I'm going to put the Postman HTML report under the report path, which is my working directory. And then the report tab name is going to be Postman. And no other changes in, uh, yep, I believe the control options are output variables. So nothing is. Um, given there in case if I want to add anything I can just give it so for now this is enough so I have upload okay I have added upload postman HTML report yep. added upload yep this is also done so so far yeah we have completed 14 steps to achieve this to come to at least this place and yeah let me save this Click OK, and now I'm going to create a new release. So I'm creating a new release for the stage one. The release description is Azure DevOps and Postman integration. And let me run this test. So yeah, I click Create, and the release one is created. It's not yet deployed, so let me click on Deploy. And going to the logs. And let's wait for a few more seconds to get the test completed. So, so far, like I told you, 
we have come across all these steps. So let me do a quick recap before the test completes its running. So what did we do? So we have, we need to have the Postman set up ready. We need to have the Postman set up and then we have to have the Postman scripts ready. We have to have an Azure DevOps account and then we need to create a new project in Azure DevOps and then we have to initialize the Azure DevOps repository. We have to go to the Postman and export the Postman collection to JSON and then we have to import the JSON to Azure DevOps and then in Azure DevOps, I have to, you have to create a release pipeline, which we did now. And then in that, we have to add the artifact the Azure DevOps part and then we have to add npm custom to install the new man and we have to add uh, we basically have to install I mean, like add installing new man html report and then we have to add new man postman part uh, which can be done through cli companion for postman and then we have to add published test results and then we have added uploaded postman html report and that's been done so so far we have achieved this and let's now go back to this part so here you can see the npm custom part is done it's it's, a, it's actually happening it's actually running now the npm install part and now the uh, installation of new man html report part is happening so npm custom is completed already in the same way the uh, install so basically the first two steps are installing the new man uh, the basically the new man part using the npm custom installation and once this part is completed we will then very well move to the new man part where we are yeah so we are into that part now and we are running the test the tilts law and the post test is completed so if you see i have got one iteration to test and then i have got two requests the test scripts are one and then the sessions that's one and then if you see the total duration is around 1164 milliseconds the total data received is 395 bytes and the average response time is 476 milliseconds the minimum is 338 the maximum is 614 and the standard deviation is 138 so since it's like just two requests so in case if you want to like run more requests you are always welcome to run with more requests uh using your, your your postman your setup and everything so yeah with that i think yeah and finally the uh results is uploaded here i mean like to this location so if you want to see i can just take you through this results part so okay if you just open this part so published test run so you can see the test run here or you can even go to the test plan and the test plans if you go to the runs you can see the results there yep so if you see you can see the run so it's completed the run summary is here so past the outcome of property so everything is done here so if you run like more amount of tests you can see more amount of results as well and yeah so that's it i think um, uh, you are able to run a test a proper test using our Azure release pipelines and yeah, so this is the release which we have executed and yeah, it went fine. So this is how you have to execute your test. And yeah, going forward, we'll try more and more options. We'll try try to bring in more things. And if you have any questions, please do feel, please feel free to ask more questions. I'm always ready to answer your questions. So please feel free to ask your questions so that I can share my knowledge with you and you also can get enriched with your knowledge. And please do share the video with your friends, your colleagues, your peers. And if you want any trainings, please do reach out to me. We are uh, planning several sessions. Yep. So then I come to an end, and I definitely believe this video would be very useful to you. So until I meet you in our next videos, bye bye from Hasan Shanmugam and your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. Take care and bye bye.